double dummy. <laughs> it's bridge is the most interesting game in the world. Uh, uh, it's true that I could I could do almost anything. I could have a big boats someplace or, or go off to faraway islands. And uh, there's nothing I enjoy more than than uh, playing bridge. I play bridge about 12 hours a week, and uh, I go home and I change into a sweatsuit and then sit down and. Uh, in 30 seconds, I have a game, uh, almost always uh, with my partner uh, Sharon Osberg in, in San Francisco, and and we're usually playing people we know. But uh, every hand is different. Every hand, the rest of my life is going to be different, and it's challenging uh, uh, both bidding and play and defense. If if you've got a certain type of mind, uh, it's the best exercise in the world for for a mind over time. I mean, every six or seven minutes, you're getting a a problem that is unlike any that you've seen before. It's not identical with anything you've seen before, but it's got similarities to what you've seen before. But you'll never pick up the same hand twice. And uh, it's a game of drawing inferences from both what your partner uh, says during the bidding or doesn't say, uh, from what your opponents say during the bidding or don't say. Uh, from every card that's played or is not played uh, at a given time. So there's no way that you can participate in the game without getting a lot of mental exercise. And I really do think that it, it's probably useful for keeping minds active uh, with older people. Uh, and I think it's good in developing minds for younger people. Uh, it's, it's a challenging game. It's a partnership game. So it's very important that uh, uh, to behave in ways that causes your partner to uh, uh, play at his or her best, and there's an enormous difference in how good people are at that. Uh, you learn a lot about human behavior in the, in, in the process of playing bridge. When I was a youngster of about 10 or 11, uh, I would go up to um, Minnesota with my grandfather and uh, my aunt, his daughter, and uh, she brought along a bridge book one time. and. Uh, I sort of read it while I was in bed and got somewhat interested, and then she explained the game to me. I didn't play it really then, uh, but I had it explained to me at an early age, and then I, I played very intermittently uh, late in high school, just a few times. Played more in, in, in college, but still not a lot, and, and really did not get to play uh, actively un until the computer came along. And, uh, that made it so much easier to arrange a game and play with uh, the partners I wanted to play with. So from that point on, when I started playing on the computer, uh, I probably spend 10 to 12 hours a week uh, playing bridge. It was once a month before that. <laughs> uh, what's really precious is, is, is uh, well, our friends in time. And, and uh, uh, I've got some wonderful friends in the bridge world. Uh, I choose to spend a lot of time uh, playing bridge with them because it's the most enjoyable activity I can find. I like to watch, uh, you know, I like to watch uh, college football. I like to, there's, I like to read a lot, but uh, uh, if, if somebody offers me a bridge game, I, uh, I put away the book or turn off the TV. <laughs> bridge will never go away. Uh, it, it's, it's, it will appeal to a lot of people, uh, but in the 30s, uh, it, it appealed to practically everybody. Uh, people who couldn't play played, uh, and. Uh, it, it, it's like, um, in a certain way, it's like chess. Or, uh, a lot of people will play it, but uh, it's, it's lost being a really mass game like it was before. But it, it'll never disappear. It's, it's, it's too good a game. It's a tough game to teach, and uh, I've encouraged my kids to learn from the instruction that's offered here in Omaha and probably every city of any size in the country. But there, there are plenty of older people willing to teach younger people bridge. And, uh, uh, you know, they do it in groups and it's more efficient that way. It, it's not an easy game to learn. Uh, it, it, it takes, it takes uh, uh, probably some weeks to, to really get the hang of it. Uh, but once you get into it, it, it uh, there's always another layer to learn. So you're, you're still learning bridge even at my age of 82. Uh, maybe I've got more to learn than most people. but. Uh, uh, that's one of the problems with the with the widespread uh, getting widespread popularity with the game is that it's 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 not an easy game to pick up. But there will always be a percentage 
that will regard it as the greatest game they've ever seen and, and uh, uh, play the rest of their lifetime.